Hello YouTube fans. I figured I'd make this video. Um, I'm already into the motor a little much already. Um, but I figured I'd make the video just to show everybody when you hear about the 1.8 liter, um, the Toyota 1.8 liter, it's like the 2ZRFEE uh, type engine. You know, when I first started this motor, I was very intimidated about it. Um, they don't make a manual, uh, like a Haynes manual to follow any of that. You literally got to order a manual. I ordered mine online. It was on CD. It's about 4,200 pages. But the manual is very descriptive. If you know how to find the information, you know what you're looking for, it's not a hard thing to do. But I wanted to show everybody um, what I did on this. This has got new pistons. It's got new rings. It's got new rods. Um, it, it, it's got everything. I rebuilt the entire motor. Uh, it had a lower end knock. I have went through everything. The, the weird part was, is I looked at my old bearings. There was nothing wrong with the old bearings. Um, nothing wrong with the crank. I figured the crank was going to be all messed up. That wasn't the case. The only thing I can think of is maybe the timing chain was beaten against the side of it somewhere, or it was in the lower end, almost where the oil pump's situated. So it could have been an oil pump problem. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just showing everybody here. You can see this is uh, what I'm where I'm at right now. I've got all that put back together. Let's see if I can show you up under here. You can see all that right there. But anyway, when somebody gets one of these motors, don't freak out. Don't be intimidated by it because it's not a difficult motor to build. Like I said, I was a little a little in, a little timid about doing this motor because just because of the way it is but me um see i replaced all those uh the exhaust and the intake um vvt timing set gears but i remember looking at this motor when i first got it and i'm like oh man this is going to be a difficult difficult thing but i'm just telling you right now everything is i mean this is as crystal clear i mean right on down to where you got one two three four five. i mean it's all labeled it's not all you really can't mess this motor up be perfectly honest but i figured i'd make a quick video just to show everybody um i don't really got to show you how the head come off and all that it's pretty self-explanatory even putting it back on uh you just get on the you get on that disc and it, basically the only thing i was looking for was the torque settings and the oil clearances between the, um the rings and then uh the connecting rods and everything else but like I said, I mean, if you if you see one of these motors, you can rebuild them for right around 500 bucks. And I mean, then you have a perfectly good motor. This is out of um, a 2008 uh, Toyota Scion XD Xavier David. And like I said, it had a lower end knock. Um, can't find a knock or don't know where it was coming from, but I'm sure as hell going to fix it. So it won't be a knock in it this time. But if anybody has any questions um, on anything about this rebuild, you know, don't hesitate to, you know, reach out to me. I'd, I'll gladly answer uh, any questions you may have. I mean, I'll often send you a manual if you need it. All right. Thanks. And have a great day. Bye.